Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a long time since I've posted a video and I'm so glad to be back to filming again. Um, I know that I'm not the only one who thinks this, but 2020 has definitely been crazy to say the least. So with that said, I'm so glad to be back here filming for you and bring you a brand new um, series that I've been wanting to make for such a long time now and that is having a video specifically to showcase other crochet designers. And I wanted to make this because I personally love, as a crochet designer, I still love making and just looking at what everybody else creates and it's such an inspiration to see other designers make things that I would wouldn't usually gravitates to as far as designing myself but I will definitely make it <laughs> um, from from their pattern because they've worked just so hard on it and I just I love supporting other crochet designers and with that said these videos are going to be posting every two sun every every other Sunday so um, I'm really excited to be posting these and it will include both free and paid patterns now some of the free patterns that I will be mentioning do have an ad free version which means it is free on their blog but that it's, it's also available for a small fee as a PDF form that you can download either on Etsy or Reverly. Um, but I will have everything detailed in the description box below so you guys can find the patterns that I'm talk going to be talking about. So, also I'm going to be posting the picture here so you guys can see what pattern I'm talking about as we go through the list. And I've got my list. I'm actually really proud of myself because I really got really organized <laughs> today and I'm excited. These Most of these patterns were recommendations from you guys um, over on my Instagram. I did a little box in my stories where I asked people to go and drop their either their own designs or other people's designs that they've been admiring and making. So I like doing that because there are so many crochet designers out there that I have, <laughs> I have yet to um, get to know and find over on Instagram and so this way I was able to find a few gems that I didn't even know about so this is kind of a cute way this is kind of a great way to find new designs that may hopefully will inspire you to make something so the first one the Ember Diamond Table Runner and it's available in their Etsy shop um, and if you like boho decor, their stuff is super cute. And by the way, when you go to their Etsy shop, go over to their pacifier clip pattern because it's pretty cute. It has like little puff stitches and it's adorable. So if you guys are looking for a baby pacifier clip, they also have that one there, um, which is really cute. Um, what they, what I love about their table runner is the texture and I think they used home decor home deck yarn, um, the brunette yarn, and it's just pretty great for that. It has texture, it's got, um, they also have a matching uh, placemats to go. So I think you can either do the bundle or buy them separately. I'm not 100% not sure, but I think when I saw that, I think I saw there was a bundle. But either way, I will have their links in the description box below. They are super pretty and they actually go with my um, home decor theme for my table. So I'm definitely keeping an eye on that pattern. Also, it is, they have it stated as a skill level as an advanced beginner. Um, and it includes four different table lengths. So it's nice. They, they give you the four table lengths and two width so you can customize it for the table that you um, have at your home so I've actually never seen this before but that's actually really nice of them to go beyond, above and beyond to give you those four different length sizes to make and the two widths because I didn't even think about that you could make it either wider or smaller so that is really cool violet dot loops um, the ember diamond table runner up next is Jessica. Um, Jessica pa Pass, I think Pass, 
<laughs> creates. I'm so terrible. Sorry, Jessica. Um, she, uh, I actually follow her on Instagram, and I've always been, since she came out with these, I've been really obsessed with her. I'm basically just obsessed with any kind of coaster. Um, and she came out with the Mug Nest Coasters. And they are for free on her blog. And there is an ad-free version on her Etsy shop. So I have that link down below for you guys. Um, what I love about these Mug Nest Coasters is that they are a great stash buster. So if you guys have some leftover home deck yarn that you guys have, it's great for that. Because she has it in two different types of versions with yarn. Bulky number five, which would be the home deck yarn, and a medium sized four yarn, which it could be anything that you have available that's a medium size. Um, so yeah, I love that mug coaster. It's just got some cute little bubbles that just really does, like it's a little nest for your mug and it's the cutest thing. Um, so go over and check those mug to coasters out. So the next one is, we're going to get started on the emigurumi um, portion of this video. So we're going to be starting off with a design by Lisette. Um, and her Instagram is Gava Crochet. I hope I'm saying that right. Gava Crochet. Um, and hers is the Cleto Bear. What I love about her Cleto Bear, first of all, is he has a really cute little neck. Um, I like the neck detail on the little blue sweater. Super cute, and it looks like it's very beginner friendly, so you can whip it up pretty quickly. Uh, and I love those kind of emigrus. Um It uses worsted weight, so you can use whichever worsted weight you have at home. And also, what I love about it is that if you know, um, if you speak Spanish, si hablas español, también tiene un este. Spanish is so bad. Uh, my mom and sisters would laugh at me. Um, <laughs> the, there's English and Spanish version. <laughs> there's English and Spanish version and I'm just sorry. I'm just so bad. I'm from Texas. I'm Hispanic and I would speak Spanish fluently but not in 10 years ago I just moved up north and it's just so hard to find people who speak Spanish. So yeah, if you don't use it, you lose it. So, oh my goodness. Um, but I love that she has a Spanish version because, you know, I I try to write a crochet versions, PDFs, but, you know, I'll just leave it to the professional. She seems to know what she's doing. So if you want to have a Spanish written PDF, go ahead to go to Lisa. She is awesome and she'll help you out. She's, she's the sweetest little, she's so sweet. The next one is a free pattern by Ashley. Um, she is the she is the one behind she is the designer behind the Loopy Lamb, and she is the friendliest. is so sweet and always uplifting other designers, always willing to help you. And I just you just need that in your life. And so I love Ashley. She came out with a doll which is called the. Dolly Molly, which I thought is the cutest name for, for her doll. And you can see it comes with like a removable dress. You can even accessorize her dress. And she has like this curly red hair. She does have like safety eyes, but you can um, opt to make the... You can either go to get the safety eyes or you can sew in her eyes. Uh, it's up to you. It's really customizable. And the other awesome thing about it is that... She has three parts, I believe, of um, video tutorials over on your YouTube. So you can either get the pattern for free on her blog, or you can purchase her ad-free version for a small fee and follow along with her video tutorials. So that's really great that she went, you know, that length to create the video to help you step by step as you make your doll. So go check her out. I'll have everything linked in the description box below. The next one is by Jen from We Warrior Crafts. And she created the cutest little bunny that you have ever seen. But not just a bunny. She created a goodnight bunny, which means it comes with a little sleeping sack. So you put the little sleeping 
bunny inside its little blanket. And it's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Such a great to, to, um, pattern for little girls who love to play with little dolls and put them in little stuff. I just love it. And it's such so cute. It's come with a little dress and a little bow. So she has a step-by-step -step photos included in her PDF and also a link to her video tutorial for the face embroider the embroidery and um, but the other thing I love about her patterns not only are they really well executed as far as being detailed and well placed um, at the end there is an easy print which I thought it was so smart of her to do and so what an easy print is is that yes you'll have the entire PDF with the picture tutorials and the pattern that will guide you through the pictures but at the very end if you don't need photo tutorials you can just have everything condensed into um, an easy to print paper and to not have to print so many papers out um, if that makes sense uh, but yes I love her patterns you should definitely go check her out um, that little bunny if you're looking for a little bunny to make now we're getting into the garment section of the video these designers are very talented and I am willing to pay for their creations because I really want to support them keeping up with their designs because they are so beautiful. So, with that said, the first one that I'm going to be talking about is by Ashlyn. And she is the one behind Wool and Flaxen. I think that's how I call it. I hope I said it right. Wool and Flaxen. And she is the sweetest, sweetest. I love her. Um, she is a mom too, so I, I relate a lot to her. Uh, and it's just really nice when you come across people that you can relate to. And she came out with her Faye halter top. Now, I am a sucker for halter tops for little girls. My, like I can make anything for Victoria as far as like halter tops or my, it was bonnets. At first when she was a baby, bonnets were my thing. And then when she started getting older, halter tops, like any top was cute. After I saw, I think this was a couple weeks ago, she hadn't even released it yet. She um, was showing, she shared a picture of her daughter wearing this granny squared halter top. And I just, I just fell in love with it immediately. It's so adorable. And I don't... <laughs> I don't know if I'm very, I'm not proud of this, but I've never made a granny square, ever, and I've been crocheting for so long, so um, I can't really say that I'm going to be making a <laughs> granny square blanket anytime soon, but I do love that she added them to this halter top, and so let me read you what she had in her description of it. Um, she states that the pattern uses basic crochet stitches and that's my dog by the way sorry um and it works out pretty fast which it looks like it works up pretty fast um it includes some advanced joining and blocking methods she was so sweet and kind to offer a 20 percent off discount code for her pattern over her, on her etsy shop and it's going to be, discount code is Ariana20OFF. And it does expire on August 31st. So if you guys want to grab that pattern, I would grab it ASAP. Because it is a really cute um, top for little girls to have. So thank you, Ashlyn, for the discount code. Next one is a paid pattern by Millie Designs Co. And hers is the Spring Bobble Cardigan. Now... This one's super cute, guys. If you guys know anybody having a baby shower or having a baby or you want to make one for yourself and your little girl, this is such a cute little cardigan. Um, it is beginner friendly. She says it's a beginner friendly. Um, the adult sizes go from extra small to extra, extra large. And there's kids version, which is three months to ten years. Um, she does have both patterns um, bundled up in her Etsy shop so you can grab both in one or if you want the adult version you can get that separately as well as the kids version you can get that separately. Uh, it, it uses weight, worsted weight and it uses a 5.00 millimeter hook. I saw the picture on her Instagram I believe that someone, I mean everything looks so cute on a baby 
but this cardigan is adorable on babies and I'm sure it's gonna look adorable on little girls um, alright so the next one was something I hadn't seen before and someone mentioned that they really enjoyed it this this um, wrap so it's by little bud creations um, by Sam and it's her Harbor Lights wrap and I never seen it before and when I saw it it's a really pretty wrap it is made with DK and Erin yarn with a 4.5 millimeter hook um, the only place I found her pattern is at lovecraft.com I'll link it down below but that's where I found it and you can make it as long as you want it's got it looks like it's going to lay really pretty in the back and on the shoulders coming down so I it's really pretty and the next one is last but not least oh my gosh guys so I'm filming this on Friday um, and today a special tank came out live and I'm going to show it to you because I actually made it and here it is. This is called the incendiary incendiary tag. Sorry, I'm trying to uh, cross over here while my dog is on my lap. <laughs> um, guys, look at this. It is so pretty. It's a double V tank. So there's a V in the top and the V in the front and the back. <laughs> That's what I meant. And you can make this with a ruffle if you want to or just keep it like a regular tank. Um, this is by Stephanie Aaron and all her designs are just so great, well detailed, like she is a pattern wizard. Love this tank, it was really great make. I've never made anything with lace yarn, it was like a number one. So it did take me about one and a half months to make it, um, but don't let that scare you. Promise that if you want something... <laughs> If you want something challenging and you want to make yourself something slow and steady, I really recommend this. It's using the extended single crochet um, and it does have some waist shaping, but don't let that intimidate you either because it's super easy. She'll guide you through every single step. The top was really nice to make and I made it in a size 5 um, using amazing lace yarn and mesh sage color by Lion Brand Yarn and I only used one and a half um, balls of it. It's because it looks like a cake. I don't know if to call it a cake but I used one and a half um, cakes of that amazing, lar amazing lace yarn which came out to be about $12 for me in total but obviously this is priceless um, obviously I'm never getting rid of this I'm going to keep this forever and it's super breathable and I don't have to wear anything under it all I wore was my bra and it's not see-through which I really love in crochet patterns um, but yes that was definitely a labor of love and I'm so happy I finished it um, I love it with the ruffles and without the ruffles that completes this first uh, pattern showcase video for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it and you found something that you guys get inspired to make and go and show these designers some love. So with that, I hope you guys have a nice day and I'll see you again on my next video. Bye!